Hi guys, uh, welcome to this uh, tutorial 2 for using the Airtable system. And in the first tutorial, we learned how to set up the three simple tabs, a uh, task, property, and a contact. We try to fill in, uh, also fill in some information and link the information from uh, the three different tabs with one another. Today, we are going to learn how to insert an attachment, insert a date field, view a calendar system, and also uh, insert a status field. Okay, let's look at this uh, task table. We go into the attachments column and you'll see a plus sign for you to add an attachment. There are many options available to choose where your attachment uh, file may be. And for this example, we'll be inserting the attachment via a web page link. So this is a Google search uh, results page and we will simply copy the link to the PDF file itself you can see here for the SP services form. And we just paste it into this blank. Uh, once that's done, we just press select and also to press upload. Once the upload uh, is complete, you will be able to see your attachment file here, uh, the SP services form. So it's very easy and you can then see in the task itself for this particular item, there is this attachment, this property, all the information are there. Now let's go into the next set, uh, which is adding a new column and this is actually for the date we will be inserting a date column we will select as the european style or european format for the date because this is more similar to what we use in singapore in the field we will be entering as a date appointment you can enter whatever name that you want and press ok now we will be able to select the date of the appointment for this particular job particular task Let's say we put it as 15th of September in this example. And the next thing we will be doing is going to take a look at how it looks within the calendar system itself. Okay, you can see we can uh, choose a uh, date field, press done. And over here on the 15th of September, you can see this particular task. You can see this task, the information about this task. You can expand the record uh, to show more details about this task that you have just, just set up for yourself and now let's go back to the grid view the table view actually so we will enter another new line new record let's call this the marketing materials and we will put in some uh, random notes again say prepare the flyers uh, launch something 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 launch the classifieds and post to property guru things as such, uh, take photos, etc, uh, etc. Et we can also add attachments, again of course you have already learned that, and look again for the property that is uh, involved for this particular task, we will put another day of appointment, we will put it 17th of September this time, and let's go back to the calendar again, calendar view, you can see on 15 there is this task, on the 17 there is this marketing materials task, and back to grid view, now let's add another new column okay this time we will use the single select function and we will be looking to insert these three text okay to do doing and done and we change the name to status okay what we will be take trying to do is to set a status for each of the tasks itself uh, you'll understand why in a while uh, whereby we will for, for now we will enter another record okay so we put it as contact the client about uh, the property and then we will put in some notes once again sales uh, call attachment for this particular property once again uh, day of appointment let's put it uh, somewhere like seven which was uh, passed already so we can set this status as done so we have a to do doing done let's now go and look back calendar you can see on the 17 on the 15 and on the 7 these three events are shown on the calendar clearly and we now add a kanban view and in the kanban view there's this status given to you press done you can see to do and doing and done these three cards are shown in the kanban view itself so you have a very good overview of the things or the tasks that you are supposed to do and their status, the appointment dates and so on and so forth. So that's the end of today's lesson which you have learned how to insert the attachment, insert a date field, 
view a calendar system and also lastly you learned how to insert a status view and in the next tutorial we will be learning about uh, adding collaborator so this can be a teammate or a personal assistant somebody who is uh, working together with you and the next thing we will learn is a sharing of information this can be a sharing with external uh, corporate agent external parties uh, it could also be the client and lastly we will learn about using formula some very basic uh, uses of the formula system that available within Airtable to automate some of the functions inside Airtable okay see you at the next tutorial